Hey, you know who loves being at home? Everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Blues have won the draw, and we are now underway. And now he tries to get it across to Thomas. Shot! Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Husso. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Nice job tying up his opponent. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Feeds the puck up to Larkin. Here he is in the open ice on the breakaway. He scores. Oh, wow, what a finish. Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure, outweighting the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. The game has so many swings of momentum, and you always look to your leadership to make a difference, and that's exactly what he does when he puts this goal on. He's contagious, he's infectious when it comes to energy, and there's another example. Detroit's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this, already the first goal of the game, and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done, and that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. Turn that one aside. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. And now he angles it across to Larkin. Sends it in front, takes the blast. Stopped by the goaltender. Through center along the wing. Detroit's got the puck. Sends it quickly to Fabry. Up the neutral zone now. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Hayes. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Sends the pass over. Raymond sliding the puck behind the net. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Verona's got it in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Fabry. The Red Wings have it now. Takes the feed. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Knocked off the puck. This looks dangerous. Oh, it's straight out. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Larkin's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. The Blues win the faceoff. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. Taken along the wall by Sprong. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Closes the gap along the wall. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Slides it over with pace to Strong. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Sundust. Breakaway! And stuck to the play there. Well, on the breakaway, it's all about the first fake, and he does a great job there, but the goaltender doesn't bite, and as a result, makes the save. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And look at this cycle here in Pulipek. Shot! Oh, what a save on the play! All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. And the defensive team's got it now. It's pretty clear that he's hurt, James, as he's laboring towards the bench, and it is a struggle. Someone's going to have to help him get off. Taken by Falk. Directs it on over to Saad. minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments.
injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Perron's exploring options with the puck. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. The Red Wings go to work on offense. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Shoots it. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. The Red Wings take possession here in the open ice. Puts it on net. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Jay, Jay. Detroit's got it in their own zone. The Red Wings played along the boards. Shot from the wall. It's in the back of the net for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Red Wings have extended the lead to two now here in the second. Yeah, and sometimes as an athlete, you take a bit of a breather here, and sometimes that frees you to continue to play an attack, but sometimes it leads to complacency. You don't want to give any edge to your opponent when you have them down. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Folks, two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. chance of the night here on the man advantage first power play opportunity of the game you know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack quick feed to Comper. too much congestion blocks the shot solid check to slow him down oh he'll feel that one st louis jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack detroit's got possession of the puck the Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Quick pass to Fabry. Back to the blue line. Moves it to Sunfist. And he's ridden off the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Lays into the body. gymnastics at its finest such an impressive save love looking at this one again james you know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay special teams so important can they capitalize on this power play here with a face off the red wings take possession here inside the offensive zone Musa quickly over to Gostaspare. From it close. Yeah. Stay confirmed on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the covers. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. What a goal. I'm surprised he didn't snap his twig in half after that snapper there, James. I mean, the force at which he bore down with, it's incredible how much power he can get from his wrist and transfer of weight. The Red Wings make it a 3-0 game here in period number two. Well, it's still in the second period, James, so there's still a lot of one way left. But if they can continue to stay consistent and play this way, it's going to be tough for their opponent to get back in. They're pitching the shutout right now, and for a reason, they've been tight defensively as well. Oh, James, I just love how he created that scoring chance. I mean, he saw a little bit of ice and he knew exactly how to take it. Because of his edge work and how his hands can keep up with his feet, he just couldn't finish. 
Wax it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Larkin. Across the line and on the attack. Larkin's got it along the boards. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Hammers a shot. Answers the call with a big save. Picked up along the boards by Letty. Angles it over to Saad. There's a shot. Great blocker stop by Husso. Slides it quickly to Larkin. Into the corner now. He's up. Can't get it to go. The Blues will play it in their own end. On the breakaway. Oh, another issue. What happened there? It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do. And in the interim, he ran out of space. Steps into it. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Costant stick handling in his own zone. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Quick feed to Thomas. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Slides the puck across to Krug. Takes the pass. Jay, Jay. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Makes it look easy with the stop. Huso has been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. Big save right at the end. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Tries to get it out of the zone. St. Louis has possession of it now. And that's deflected. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Husso. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Odd man rush. Sends it in front. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Stops him cold. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. The Red Wings are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Beatington's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Detroit's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. And now it's grabbed by Vostas Bear. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. That opportunity is rejected. Here's a backhander. Denies him again. Well, the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. And that's intercepted by Verona. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Strong's called for tripping, he's off to the box. will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. To his teammate! Here's a shot! Point blank stop by Husso. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. 
Cops ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Denied with the glove by Bennington. And it's a quick pass to Kairou. He carries the puck up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Drives to the second spot, and they score! On the power play, they make it happen. St. Louis has to keep their foot on the gas pedal now. They need more offense. Well, you know their opponent is going to be looking to protect the middle of the ice, get in those shooting lanes, so they're going to have to find ways to get shots through and to get net front presence. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. How would you like to defend against him? I mean, if he sees an opening, he is going to take it, and he's going to beat you every single time. He is so fast, and he makes you pay. There's back-to-back -back saves. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. The Red Wings' top line is coming onto the ice. They've been so effective. Their chemistry is unbelievable. They have a ton of motion, and they're real tough to defend. Perron's got the puck. That's a slash on that play, and the referee's all over it. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Blues will serve two for slashing. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. St. Louis has the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Pareko. Here we go, pucks in deep. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Moves it to Gostaspare. The Blues have possession shorthanded. Here's a race for the loose puck. Goaltender's gonna play the puck out of his crease. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Oh, he stops him with the draw. Great reflexes there. Larkin set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Detroit's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Fabry. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Ottawa's up next on this home stand, and this should be a fun one. A few tickets still remain for this one. You know we'll be here. Hope to see you as well. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it over to Sundquist. Strong defensive effort. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. The Red Wings have it now. They score! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. Oh, these are the ugly ones where you find yourself on a highlight reel and it's not the one you want to be on, James. It's a real tough play that leads to a goal. Detroit's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. The Blues win the faceoff. Detroit's looking to break out at their own end. Takes the feed. Here they come on the rush. Here's the pass. Sends it over to Bushnevich. Takes it across the blue line. Works it across to Perron. Slides the puck over. Sends it out in front. Detroit's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. St. Louis takes a hold of the puck in the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Kairou. Sends one over. And sends it just out of reach. 
Moves the puck across to Perron. They've got the defense outnumbered. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Picked off by Fulton. Change it up! Taken here by Cairo. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Passes it over to Tucker. St. Louis takes it across the line. Tremendous stop with the block by Husso. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. The Red Wings lead it late in this third period. defensive zone. Good stand up hit. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Here's a short pass to Pareko. And he takes the feed. Jostles the puck loose. but their opponent had something to say about it. But it was a great game, back and forth action. Listen, they may not have won the game, but look for them to continue to press. They could have another streak ahead of them. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.